you and your interest to leave your homes for this purpose. The Lord is going to see all of you through Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We the ambience, it's quite unfortunate that many of us are supposed to be here and not here. But with this wonderful good news, I believe there will very soon, even before this day runs, runs down, all of them will get the, the good news. And it will be to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. So this is a very wonderful news we have been looking forward to here. And we thank God for that young man, our brother Felix Oboa, whom God has raised to stimulate the mind of the members of Church of God's Seventh Day in this Nigeria at large. Because this is what other churches are looking for. This is what other churches are proud of. So I thank God for him. And our earnest prayer is that God will continue to use him mightily to grow this church to the highest point in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory, we're having a conference meeting here on 6th. So this news will be conveyed to our brethren and I believe they'll be happy. So I thank God for this uh, journey and I pray that God will continue to do more than this we have seen today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We had granted to our national overseer and uh, his entourage. I said it is only them be exalted forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The national women wishes to extend our greetings to Brother Felix of God, whom God has been using so tremendously to keep this church moving. In fact, we appreciate our brother so much. He has been a difficult to emulate. We appreciate him. And I wish to say that you extend our greetings to him for seeing it and giving it right to pull the churches of God together this time around for a second time where we have to stay together, pray together, worship together, and exchange pleasantries. And my heart is so glad that I'm happy, because these are one of the things I used to like, inspiration, and this is that. They say the a traveler is more knowledgeable than an old man with head. So, my regards so much to please extend my regards, my greetings to him because he has done so well. We will, if if it were to be on our, on our own side, maybe we would not have planned anything convention this year, even maybe yet to come because of the financial predicaments. No, no state is having that. We have the money now, and the situation of Nigeria has not made it possible for us to raise money. So, but simply, our brother has made it possible. He has made it to work this time. Because of his, of his own work, he has planned it singly, wants to sponsor it singly. So, it's a big thing. It's not that he has. Many have, but they cannot bring out. So, for having that mind to pull all of us together. In fact, I, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I say thank you. And I pray that God will continue to be with him in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And when you use whatever God has given to you to his own service, God is going to lift you higher. So, on behalf of the women, we say thank you, Prophetess, and wish that you extend this to him. And I pray also that you people that have started the journey, believe in God, that you also that have started the journey alongside with you, he will go with you and you will finish the journey and come back to your various homes in safety in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. With the happiness, I know, just as I 
as my brothers have spoken, who will be there and we will come in mass. So to God be the glory and may He continue to strengthen us and to grant ourselves in Jesus. He has my investments to see the church together, to show love to all the states that mess up the church. I pray that you will use this opportunity also to introduce love in the church. We right hear somebody from Adia will not see himself as Adia people, rivers, river people, Abba, you have a people. I will remember years back who will come together, even the youth ministry. I will say we shall take to come on. But today, I'm not saying those things. Help us as much as you can do. Use this convention as a bitch to introduce love in your church. And I know they will see you through and expecting you the more. In Jesus' name we pray. I thank God so much because I'm using pen so much. It has a lot of choice from onset. Because it is the move of togetherness, bringing all churches like that together. See that all the sisters should be here and there. Be away and be encouraged because full of matters. And the Lord encourages you, and the Lord gives you the vision, the Lord gives you the strength to remember all such sister churches and know what to do for them to be encouraged and stand fast. Amen. And the Lord help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And the Lord grant you best to continue in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, my own is a part of encouragement. Please, sir, with a humble submission, I want to encourage you. Don't be relaxed on this position you are working on. Please, make everything possible so that the church will be in unity. Because, as you are in National Overseer, if it is not the will of God, it will not be here. It is only by the will of God. Therefore, seek God in prayer, seek God in everything you are going to do. Don't do anything segregation. If in the kingdom of God there will be no separation, why are we doing separation here? So please, do everything humanly possible to bring the church in unity. And as you have been that, God will help you to achieve the goal and to help us to run the rest in the name of Jesus. I'm happy to come back to see my brothers in faith and in the race, in the actions of the kingdom of Christ. Uh, Join faith to what the national government said. I think uh, this is time to want to write the wrongs. My brothers in Christ, this is our journey has been a unique one. Unique in the sense that we have done this few days in the past to look at the of the other of the church in Nigeria. I praise God for the effort He has given us. Most especially I praise the National Brazil who came up with this idea. Brothers, I am saying this. Please, at any time, at any place, we feel ourselves, we should pray for the man who has made it possible for this thing we are praying for to come into the people. That is our brother, for the fellows of God. We have to remember him in our prayers. Pray for this and run it, and I know you feel for something. Then I will also ask ourselves to tell us our prayer in the morning. It is now our, it is now we, the individuals, that will make it a successful one. Therefore, brothers and sisters, I'm begging you all to bring us your mind in whatever position you find yourself in this uh, convention. To walk faithfully before God. You are not working for man, but you are working for God. So if you put our hands together, I know we are going to succeed. And we are going to succeed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for your blessing, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to use 